Resources have been placed on a constraining level because of overuse of resources during the past. Resource consent is going to be a major challenge for the achievement of sustainable development. Sometimes I feel that there are good and enough resources. It's, a, it's purely mismanagement of resources. A lack of resources is a challenge in Asia Pacific, but the more challenge we have, it's a bad management of existed resources. Not resource constraint as such, but the overconsumption and over control of the resources is the challenge. The challenge is to redistribute resources. Uh, I would say that our region is resource rich. There are resources. It's just a matter of how they're being used, how they're being spent, and how they're being maximized. To produce, we need, we need to use resources. To grow, we need to use resources. The question is, can we use them in a sustainable way? I think for sustainable development, we can manage those resources, but we need to um, make reforms. So we need to have some innovative approach through technology and science developments. I don't think there is a resource constraint. I think technology exists, funds can be raised. We need to mobilize. If there is a political will, resource can be generated. If we can be more efficient, if we can be more resource efficient, it actually has economic benefits because we're using less to produce more. Having the resources hand, it is also important that they should be equally distributed. How to really take out the resources from the hands of the people who control it? We do want to have better opportunities, but on the other hand, we have to ensure that it is in sync with what our environment can give us. Because if we don't have enough resources, humankind in this world, including the environment, uh, will be in trouble. Uh, economic growth has to happen differently.